Hi, welcome to the Destin Business Forum brought to you by the Destin Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm your host, Amy Perry, and our first guest is Tim Crehan, owner of Cuve Bistro, yes, right? Good to see you. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. No, it's been a while. Like following you from restaurant to restaurant. <laughs> right. I'm stopping now. Okay, so <laughs> we've got a lot to talk about. First, Cuve Bistro. Yes. Tell me about that. We acquired that in April, and uh, it's been just a, a smash success from the get-go. Um, you know, I was in Beachwalk for years, mm -hmm. but um, sold that with the change of the economy. I thought it was time to step out of the very expensive fine dining and try to bring th something to the locals and the tourists alike that was much more affordable. Okay. I wanted to see my customers twice a week instead of twice a month. <laughs> And so it was a good opportunity to, to get out of the fine dining and move into something more of what we call upper mid scale. Okay. And so we designed a bistro where you can come in and do fine dining if you like, but there's the other options that are available like gourmet pizzas and really great sliders and uh, calamari, things that are just more casual fare. And the bar crowd has just fallen in love with those products and it's caught on and it's just, it's the place to be. But you still have the signature Crehan dishes, right? You can still get all that stuff at a discount. Tuna. Seared tuna <laughs> with soy ginger the sauce. Soup. The soup. Okay. Yep. It's all there. And you have a new chef? Yes, here? Alan Balthazar, who, uh, it's uh, what a neat story. You never know how your paths are going to cross in life. Right. Ten years ago, good, my good friends that own the Destin Ice House wanted to train someone to do the food items that I'd created for Destin Ice House because I no longer could make them at the restaurant. Their volume had gotten so large. Right. So they hired a chef and sent him to me, trained for three days on my recipes, and went back to work for them. And it was Alan. So when I was looking for a sous chef at the restaurant, I, you know, Alan came in. I said, you look awful familiar. And he said, well, I worked for you three days. And so now he's come on as our chef and he's just exceptional. Very talented and a great person. Good, good deal. Well, I know my office is having our Christmas party yeah, we're there in a couple of days, yeah. so I'm excited about that. Um, other things to talk about. I noticed that we've got some Grill Plus, and I don't know if the camera can see that. I love this stuff. I would put a straw in it and almost drink it. Um, <laughs> my favorite, I think, is, is the kind that you put on fish. Yes. But tell me how this started and what it is for those three people out there that don't know yeah. what Grill Plus is. Well, back when I started uh, in the restaurant business, it was early in the 80s in Baton Rouge and moved Destin to Marina Cafe. Mm -hmm. Grilling besides a steak became popular. California, they were grilling vegetables and fish and everything that we weren't used to grilling. Right. The inherent problem was a lot of those proteins stick to a grill surface. Anyone who's cooked a boneless, skinless check and breast knows that happens. Well, I said there had to be a better way. So I worked up a little formula um, and I used it in my own kitchen and I never thought it would ever get past that. But cook and chef after chef that came to work for me said, oh, you should buy all this stuff and sell it. I said, yeah. well, first thing going to happen is someone's going to steal it from me. <laughs> so I, I can't take that and I can't quit my day job. Right. So I followed for a U.S. patent and learned a lot in doing that mm -hmm. and, and was able to get a patent on the product. So I decided to go forward. Uh, for many years, it was just the one, one flavor original, mm -hmm. which is like salt and pepper and garlic on your food. But then there was a demand for flavors. So we went to the obvious, most popular ones, urban garlic, lemon pepper. And uh, it has done really well in gourmet markets, seafood markets. And we do now sell institutionally to restaurants. So Cisco Food Service mm -hmm. and those companies pick it up and sell it to the restaurants. Locally, where can you buy it? Uh, all the public supermarkets have it. Destin Ice House, of course, where it started. Right. And um, gourmet shops like Kitchen Eek. Okay. All right. I um, highly recommend that. I, I don't give it a try. Cook Good that stocking much, stuff but when I do it, yeah, exactly, exactly. It makes uh, it makes what I'm trying to cook taste kind of like food. Um, the cookbooks that are on the table. Tell me how many you have, and I notice a new one. Right. Not that I'm familiar with I've done with them three now. Uh, my first one, of course, Flavors of the Gulf Coast. My second, The Simple Cuisine. And the third one was just a partnership with the Henderson Park Inn, uh, where we kind of did a storybook about Destin and its mm -hmm. history. Um, we covered some of the things that have happened and evolved at the Henderson Park Inn itself. And uh, because it's a bed and breakfast, we sprinkled in some great uh, kind of country style and breakfast recipes. So uh, I am working on my fourth book and uh, revising my first one because it's amazing in just 12 to 15 years, the a level of ingredients that are available to you, the consumer at home, I had to write recipes different back then. So I'm actually doing a revision of the first book that'll come out probably in uh, fall of next year. More like what you use in the restaurant and what you we can get, you, know, you couldn't get certain things 10 years ago that I could get, right. but now you can get them. So it actually changes the way we do recipes. Change it a little, yeah. a little more. That's interesting, yeah. I never thought about Stores that. Stores like you know Whole Foods and Fresh Market really have changed what really you can get it. as a consumer. Yeah. Again, it makes it seem like those of us who can't cook can. Um, all right, and the the Henderson Beach, for those who don't know, Beachwalk is there, but that is not your restaurant anymore. You sold that. Correct. I sold Beachwalk and all the rights to it okay. to the Henderson Park Inn. It's become a part of their property, and i um, just doing Cuvée. And Cuvée is yours. Is my standalone restaurant at this time, yes. Okay, and then the 
um, the Great Events Center yes. that I didn't know anything about until we were talking a little before the show. Yeah. Explain to to the viewing public what that is. Well, we do so many. We did and do so many events. We needed a spot where. 25 to 100 people could have an event, and that mm -hmm. was kind of a void in Destin. Right. So behind uh, Community Bank and the Community Bank Plaza, there was a 4,000 square foot custom home. Right off 98. Yep. Uh, Holiday Road, Smith's mm -hmm. Antiques. Yeah. And so um, we went in and renovated that to an event center. So you feel like you're in someone's really nice upscale custom home, but you can have a party. There's breakout rooms. There's a beautiful 2,000 square foot outdoor back deck with Ooh. live grilling stations and a bar, uh, waterfall, waterfall. And I mean, so it's really a nice, we do a lot of small weddings, a lot of rehearsal dinners. Um, a lot of time when we get someone's wedding reception, mm -hmm. we don't get the rehearsal dinner because they don't want to be at the same spot. Right. So then we can put them at the Great Events Center and do the rehearsal and do the wedding at the beach. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. And you were saying that it, you've taken down some of the walls. So I, I kind of jokingly said, so it's like everybody's in your kitchen, but it really is right. sort of like that, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I did a, a large display kitchen um, with cameras and overhead monitors so you can actually see us cook in the kitchen while we're doing your event. And we do do cooking classes, private cooking classes and demonstrations. Yeah. There's a picture of it right now. So if someone wants to, to book something there, what would they call? They call the restaurant? Or? Now the 650-8900 is okay. the central number for Chef Tim Crean and company. And you can get our restaurant reservations. You can get um, uh, the Great Event Center, our salespeople for weddings and, and events. Just the one number will get you everything. So one number gets you everything you need to a know. A lot of times I answer it. You're kidding, right? <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> this is an April Fool's. All right, here's, here's a question that I, it's like a three-part question. What is your favorite meal to prepare if you, if you have to cook? And I know you're not cooking that much anymore, but you know, what's, what's just fun to make? Anything, you know, country style comfort. I love when the first crawfish, fresh crawfish comes in Destin mm. House, they know to call me because I make a big batch of crawfish etouffee, some garlic bread with mozzarella on it and some steamed jasmine rice. And that's probably my favorite meal to cook. To make, all right, yeah. what's your favorite meal to eat? Any one that I don't have to cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. And for the holidays, um, what's your favorite holiday meal? You know, I'm a big traditional, um, being born in Connecticut, uh, you know, a big prime rib roast. Mm -hmm. But when I moved to Louisiana, I learned about fried turkey. And I can't imagine a Christmas or Thanksgiving going by without fried, fried turkey. turkey. Yeah. So the two of those with all the, you know, the fixings that need to be there, uh, we did 90 tur turkeys this Thanksgiving. Ooh. 90 fried turkeys to serve 600 people. And speaking of holidays, you're going to be open for Christmas yes, Eve? Yes, Christmas Eve uh, from 4.30 till 9, Christmas Day from 11.30 to 4 p.m. So we're there for the people in the community that don't want to cook or it's just a small group. Or can't. And, or <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. It's okay. okay it's well, okay. And, so uh, you, so you take us. a vacation after the holidays. Yeah, our vacation is in January. For, That's right. You're here for those of us yeah. that need you. Thank you. Thank oh, you we too. love doing it. Big New Year's Eve party. Uh, Camus Wine Dinner on New Year's Eve and entertainment. And so Perfect. January 1st, our, our break starts. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank I feel you. like I learned uh, even more than I already knew about you. Well, so um, stay in touch. Come back and see us next year. Okay? We'll do it. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Thank you. We'll be back.